it started when the magnetic field began to dissipate. Those were the times of great peril and confusion, as the sun slowly gave out, as did the world. Billions of people died when the sun began to penetrate the Earth's magnetic field. Entire cities were exposed to excessive amounts of radiation. The true nature of man flourished. People turned on each other like animals. It was survival of the fittest. There were times of fear and distrust. You know, we have flowers back at our house. Not these kind. What's the difference? They're flowers. Clearly, you don't appreciate flowers. I appreciate flowers, but they're all going to die anyway. We need to pick up useful supplies, Jen. Flowers produce oxygen. Yes, they do. But you need a whole lot more flowers to produce enough oxygen for one person. Then maybe we could get more. Forget it. Why do you have to be so closed-minded? All you talk about is survival. Don't start this again, please. I wish Dad was here. He knew how to live. He appreciated flowers. But no, you're here. Just drop it. Fine! How do you think the cloud cover will last? Uh, I don't know. 
Maybe we should go to the bunkers behind the mountains. No, we're staying right here. Why not? I can see mom and dad. Uh, no, it's probably still packed. You remember how chaotic it was last time? Yeah, but maybe it's different now. No, uh, it, it hasn't changed. It's probably worse. We'll go sometime, Jen. Just not now. All right. Lord, I, I thank you for this food. I thank you for my family. <clears throat> thank you for watching over us. And, um, I pray that you keep us safe. Amen. <sighs> I think I'm going to turn it in early. Uh, don't get, don't go outside and don't get in trouble. No. Right. I know. Francis, it's out. Wait. Right. If you find yourself unable to move or speak for a few seconds or minutes when falling asleep or waking up, then it is likely you have isolated sleep paralysis. Some more food and more water. 
Uh, don't want to be gone too long, so. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Look, uh, if this is about the bunkers, maybe we can make a trip next weekend or something if there's enough cloud cover. Stop the car. What? Stop the car! Okay, what? Jenny, where are you going? Get back in the car, Jenny! Jenny! Get back in the car. She's injured. We need to take her to our house. Jenny, please, get back in the car. Help. Help me. Come on. Help. Matthew, help me. Jenny, we have to get the hell out of here. Not without her. Fine. kidnapped you. We heard four gunshots when we picked you up. Four? Yeah. There were four other people with me. In the house. Just past the park. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Who kidnapped you? This man named Roger. He held me at gunpoint. How'd you end up in the street? I was able to break free. I started running, then I began to feel ill, then I fell, and now I'm here. So this Roderick fellow, is there any reason to believe he'd come looking for you? I, I don't know. He, he's unpredictable. He seems sincere at first, then, but, but he's, he's crazy. He's, in, he's insane. You're safe here. You hungry? Yeah. We've been here for six months. Ever since the first solar flare struck up north. Our parents were near the bunkers when it happened. And we've been here trying to avoid the sun whenever the magnetic field decides to give out. So. Yeah, me too. My dad, my sister, we all decided to stay in the neighborhood when everyone left. The radiation killed my father from the inside out and my sister, she left for the bunkers months ago. It's been rough by myself, but then Roger came. I'm sorry about your dad. Me too. We have enough food and water here. Uh... We just need to head out a few weeks early since we have an extra person with us. Thank you for helping me. 
I thought I was dead. Upstairs, both of you. Hi. Don't make any noise. Hello. Hi. I live in the area and I was wondering if you could help me with something. Yeah, sure. Uh, come in. Want some coffee? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So, how can I help you? Well, I'm looking for a girl named Clara. I don't know anybody by that name. Do you live here alone? Sure do. It's pretty cozy. Seems pretty spacious for one person. Uh, yeah, well, uh, what is space anyway, nowadays? You hungry? <laughs> well, that's, that's just my three square meals a day. You know, we're all pretty worried about Clara. She tends to get confused and forget things. I'm pretty sure it's the sun taking effect on her. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can. Well, I guess she isn't here. Sorry. So, what's your name? Oh, my apologies. My name's Roderick. What's your name? I'm Matthew. It's a pleasure. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. <sighs> right then. So you're sure you haven't seen anyone recently? Nope. You're the first visitor here in a long time. I can see that. Yep. Well, maybe I should join you. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the offer, but um, you know, I do more of the solo thing. Uh, but thanks, really. <sighs> hey, Matthew. Can I tell you something? That sounds really strange. Uh, shoot. Well, recently, I've been seeing these outlines of people. It used to only happen when I was asleep, but now it happens all the time. Outlines? Yeah, like, like shadows or something. Like people. I've tried talking to them, I've tried touching them, but they don't respond. Have you had an experience like that? Not that I'm aware, uh, that seems pretty disquieting. Look over there. What are you pointing at? Oh, you can't see it? No, are you okay? Where's Clara? Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, don't play me for a fool! I'm not. I know you're not the only person living here. Where are they? Upstairs? Uh, I don't know what you- Seriously, there's nobody else living here. Listen, I just want Clara. I told you she isn't well. I just want to take her and leave. Uh, I think it's time for you to leave. You know what? Stop the act, okay? If she wants to go back to you, she will. She's coming back with me whether you like it or not. Oh, really? Listen, it doesn't have to be that way. I know you have a sister. What are you getting at? If you give me Clara, then I'll leave your sister alone. We'll part ways and you'll never hear from me again. If you lay one finger on my sister, I will kill you. Easy. Don't get excited. Just give me Clara, I'll depart, you'll never see me again, and you and your sister can go back to your bunkers. Get out. All right, I'll leave. Just answer one question for me. Why do you keep lying to your sister about the bunkers? You know full well that every man, woman, and child who went there died. So why lie to her? Just leave us alone. All right. Just know this, if you try to leave, I'll follow you. Also, I'd keep your distance from the shadow people. They uh, tend to overwhelm you with a sense of dread. Anyway, good night. Thank you for the coffee.
Is it true, Matthew? We're leaving right now. Don't push this off. Is it true? Are our parents dead? I'm sorry. You said they were alive. You said we could go see them anytime we wanted. You lied? Jenny, please. I'm gonna go see Roger. Minute. I can't believe you lied to me. So here's how we're gonna do this. You're going first, go. Start walking or I kill him. Next, go. Go! Keep walking, walk faster. You guys see him too, right? Right? You guys see him? I don't know what you're talking about, man. You just need to chill out. Shut up. Wait, you see him? I know you do. Come on, come with me. No. Back up! Don't come touch on. me! No! Go! Stop! Back up! Stop! Back up! 